Let us offer our consecration to the Lord. Lord, we offer up to you this day as we are in the middle of now the 28th week of Ordinary Time, and we are here recognizing how you were guiding us, how you were leading us, how you were calling us to embrace the teachings of St. Paul, embrace the teachings of the gospel, and, and to follow you as you call us to follow you. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Well, we're looking again in Galatians. Now we are in Galatians 5, which we were earlier, but we're now continuing Galatians 5. And one of the things you want to understand is that the uh, St. Paul is teaching that if we are guided by the Spirit, then we're not under the law. So we have to understand what that means. Does that mean that, oh, hey, I can say, well, I'm guided by the Holy Spirit. So none of these, no morality applies to me because I'm guided by the Spirit. No, obviously not. Now, what does it mean? What happens is that when we choose to follow Christ, the law that is the external law of really comes down to love God and love neighbor is now taken from the external reality that is followed in the older covenants to the internal reality that is called through our relationship with Christ. So that's where it all begins. It's kind of like if you are married, then your behavior is going to be completely definitely connected, completely connected to your relationship with your spouse. Okay. So, um, you may have certain ways of living your life and may that you grew up with and you know what is right and wrong and everything else. And those ways are not going to change in one way. They, they will another, but now you are married. So you take those same ways and you live them a different way. So you're probably going to live at a higher standard than just the law because now you're living on love of your spouse and love of your children. So now you're living on that standard. So what is guiding your relationship or your behavior, your relationship with your husband or wife and your children? That's going to guide. If you don't have that relationship, then you're going to fall back onto what you understand is right and wrong. And that's going to lead you to understand those rules, but it's those rules that are going to be your guidance, not love of your husband or wife and not love of your children. Do you see that? That's the same message Paul is saying. He's talking to us that if we have embraced Christ and now we are guided by the Spirit, it's our love of God and neighbor that is going to guide us and show us how to live in our response to love of God and neighbor. And when we do that, we're not going to so much be focused on what is right and wrong as what's written in rules. We're going to be focused on what is is the best thing to do, the most loving thing to do for our family. So it's a different standard. It's not a lower standard. It's actually a higher standard. So let's put it this way, kind of go to the the usual response people use when they want to talk about laws and how it applies. You're driving and your son or daughter is in the front seat all belted up, everything's fine, the whole bit, and you're coming to a red light, but you're in a hurry, okay? The law says to stop at the red light because that's the law. And the reason why the law is there is so that you're not going to uh, crash into someone who you didn't see, and so the red light is there to make sure a safe passage and traffic runs well and everything else. But that's the law that holds all this. Now, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. For some reason, you're out at 3, 3 o'clock. Maybe you're coming back from the emergency room or something like that, and everything turned out okay. So you're, you're driving at 3 o'clock in the morning. No one is around, okay? The law still applies, but you might say, well, no one's going to around... Who's going to know? And then it comes in. Well, first of all, you may miss a car that's coming and you don't see it. And that car could t 
T-bone you and your son or daughter is going to be most effective and mo- most affected and most hurt. Um, or you could say, this is a bad example to my son or daughter. Therefore, I am not going to go through the light just because no one is around. Or you may just want to do it out of love for your son and daughter. So now the law is no longer applying. It is your love of your family that is your motivation. And this is where St. Paul is going. St. Paul is talking about this. Now we are guided by the Spirit, and the Spirit is teaching us how to love God and love neighbor. That's what we're doing. So therefore, there is the law, but we're choosing to follow a higher standard, a greater law. And that greater law is teaching us how to love our God and neighbor in such a way that that affects our behavior. So if you are guided by the spirit, you are not under the law. Why? Because you're living at a higher standard. And then what is the law for? Well, if you're not guided by the spirit, then you have to know what is right and what is wrong. And that's what the law is for, to tell you what is right and what is wrong. And you choose to follow that. But you're not under the law. You're guided by a different set of rules, and they are a higher standard than just simply following the law. We're going to talk more on the other side of the break. You're listening to St. Anthony Overnight from St. Anthony in Alston, Massachusetts. I want to call your attention to Catholic TV, which offers great faith-filled, family-friendly programming 24 hours a day. You can find your cable channel at www.getcatholictv.com, and you can watch online on the free apps or check out the YouTube channel. Daily Mass, Rosaries, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and the Our Lady of Perpetual Help Novena are all available online and on demand. Check out CatholicTV.com. And don't forget our own website, CatholicAudioMedia.com. That's CatholicAudioMedia.com. Check out our website. Check out the archives of the show. Check out our Substack newsletter. Uh, do all th- kinds of things through CatholicAudioMedia.com. I'm going to have to put more stuff on there because, you know, people are visiting and then they see what, what's on there and they see some new stuff, but maybe not as much as they should. So I'm going to have to put more stuff on there. And we'll talk about that. Also, do keep in mind that we are here every single Monday through Friday and on WEZE, and we also have the afternoon show on WROL Monday through Friday at 3 in the afternoon. And don't forget, you are a standing invitation to our 10 o'clock a.m. Mass on Sunday, so come by and check that out. So what we're looking at is the law, and the law, and what St. Paul is saying is that If you follow the law, meaning the written law, and it it, it, well, basically what he puts is he says, if you're guided by the spirit, you're not under the law because now you're following a whole different standard, like I explained to you. And then he, he uses another term, which is the flesh. And what that means is you follow what it is that your corporal uh, understanding is. So then you live basically your own will and you god is out of the picture and you do things because remember what is the first temptation you will be like god so everything there is rooted as i am like god and i will make my own rules and if you get in my way i will deal with you and that becomes his warning against envy his warning against uh factions his warning against selfish selfishness and and fury and all that because he's saying the law is teaching not to do those things and you're not doing those things because that's what the law says if you're not guided by the spirit but if you're guided by the spirit then you're living at a higher standard so you understand your best not to do those things and why because you understand when you do do those things then you are not doing what the whole spirit is leading to you loving god and loving neighbor go back to the family okay Uh, One of my favorite stories is, you know, someone I knew who uh, worked for a DYS vendor, right? (laughs) And he was doing his best to to help um, 
teenagers who were involved in the law, uh, who the literally the law, who get in trouble with the law. And it was a form of rehabilitation. And one of these teenagers did something. It was something stupid that teenagers do. And he was trying to correct him. He says, why did you do that? And he said, because I'm only 15. And he told me later the story. He said, you know, that really went right through me. Well, think of that. You have your son or daughter in front of you and you're trying to correct them and you're looking at those sad eyes and you correct them with love and now it's no longer a case, this is a rule, you got to follow the rule. You correct them with love. This becomes the problem when you have people in the church, again, saying the rule and only, and only preaching about rules on weekends because then you are in the flesh because you're teaching people there are rules to follow you have to follow the rule without any context of love of god love of neighbor and that becomes an issue but when you think of things on a pastoral level and when you choose to act in love your behavior is going to be radically different uh, maybe an example that i can give is when i go someplace and people will offer me a drink and i was if i'm driving i say no and they'll go, why? I says, no, if I am driving, I do not drink. Bottom line, period, da, da, da. And, and if I do drink, I'll drink at most one beer. And if I drink any more beer, it's always non-alcoholic. I know all the brand names and I love them. Okay, always. And usually it's on non-alcoholic anyway. Why do I do that? Because I know the great disappointment people would experience if I was drunk and drove. There you go. We'll talk more tomorrow. Have yourself a blessed day, and we will see you tomorrow. If you would like to support our program, please consider a donation to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. There are several ways to consider this. One is to purchase any of our merchandise, which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. There are coffee mugs there. There's also my latest book, Encounter Christ in Your Humanity, all of which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. You can also donate to the show directly through either the Donate tab, also at catholicaudiomedia.com, or by sending a donation through the U.S. Postal Service with your questions and comments at 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. That's St. Anthony Parish, 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. Finally, the best way you can support our parish is to attend Mass on Sundays at 10 o'clock and be a part of our parish. We thank you for any support you would like to give to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, the sponsoring parish for this media outreach to Catholics and other Christians in the WROL, WEZE, and podcast listening audience. In Cristo vivimos.